Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be starting Omno. This is a cool little puzzle adventure game that I found that people have been comparing to Journey, so it's probably very similar to some games that I've played like Lost Ember and stuff like that, so it looks very pretty. The music on this title screen is fantastic, and uh, it was apparently made by a one-person team. There, well, there was one developer and one composer, I believe, so very, very cool. Because it appears to be 3D, which doing 3D as one person is hard. <laughs> that is a lot of work. So I applaud the developer here. We look like an onion. You have like a little. Oh, wait, we have two. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Are we like some sort of dinosaur? I thought the little thing that we had here was a spear, but it doesn't actually appear to be. It appears to be a uh, staff of sorts. So, yeah, I don't think there's, like, combat or anything in this game, really. I do believe it's mostly uh, about puzzles and stuff like that. So that is neat. I like that. We haven't done a uh, proper puzzle playthrough in quite a bit, so... We'll see what we got here. We'll see how we like it. Ooh, hi. Birdies. What is, are those like some sort of Venus flytrap kind of thing? Oh wait, no, they're like flamingos, but they're a plant. What is? What? Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> At least I think they're a plant. They might be an actual critter that has a face that opens up like that, which would honestly terrify me even more. Yeah, they look like Venus flytraps. Hold jump to jump higher. Gotcha. Done that. Ooh, a checkpoint. Okay. Uh-huh. New journal entry, Freglets. Oh, they're like frogs with just like weird creepily long feet. I don't like that. Um, how do we- oh, there we go. Shy creatures, fond of swamps and boggy water. Well, this is neat that we get like little bestiary entries on the enemies even though we don't actually fight them. Uh, I was actually choosing- having a difficult time choosing between Unbound Worlds Apart and this, but uh... This was on Game Pass. So I get to play it for effectively, well, not, not really free, I'm still paying for Game Pass, but I get to p play it for cheaper, so I went for this one. Both looked really great, though. Heed the call, set out on your journey, follow the path to the light. Plus, uh, as far as I know, Unbound is more like a 2D platformer, which I feel like we've had a ton of recently, so... We haven't had a nice, uh, Lost Ember, etc, etc style puzzle platformer in quite a bit, so I thought this would be a good one. Yeah, those those weird things. Can I can I see them, I wonder? Is mm, I wanted to add them to my like bestiary thing so I could or journal, I guess I should call it. Uh, because I want to know more about them. I want to know what the deal is. And that's automatically a point for the game if I see something and I'm like, I want to know more about that. <laughs> I'm actually interested in it. I don't suppose I could platform over there. It, does the water kill me? Oh, the water does not kill me. Okay, hold up. I just walk extremely slow through it. Uh, oh, wait, no, it, it kills me once I get to a certain point. Okay, gotcha. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, that's a shot. <gasps> Ooh, turtle rock. Yep, big turtle. Hello. Always like the turtle island slash rock aesthetic. Marula. Semi-mythic. Glimpsed only rarely, perhaps once a decade. Subject to many stories. Subject to many stories. It's a, I know it's saying that, like, they're in many stories, but it sounds to me like they're subject to many stories, so they gotta, they gotta sit around and listen to people tell them a lot of stories. Oh, wait, so I thought we were gonna go over there, but you're taking me over here? Where exactly are we going? Studio Inky Fox. Thank you, Studio Inky Fox. Could we- I, I guess we couldn't have made it across the bridge, so we gotta take you. Yeah, give me the bestiary for those. Do it! Um, no. What a cool title drop, and what a very, very pretty game so far. I am into it, and I am interested. The music especially just has such a nice sense of wonder.
Okay. Cool. I forgot what that effect is called, like, where there's, like, just massive light coming at you from a light source like that. Is it God Rays? Might be God Rays. I gotta, I gotta brush up on my video game development terminology. Oh, hello. Uh, you look like a, you look like a little friend that's gonna follow around on my shoulder, possibly. In my experience, these games usually do have one of those, so that our character actually has a voice that talks. It's such a common trope to have that in games. Not that I mind it, I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with the trope. I usually find the characters quite charming. Uh, huh. The light. Hmm. This also reminds me of uh, The Pathless, which was uh, one of the games I played when it released on uh, the PS5. Whack-a-lumps? Are you talking about, oh, wait, whack-a-lumps. Strange, ageless beings. Some say they are more plant than animal. Okay, I thought we were talking about whack-a-bumps, which that would be a completely different thing and would heal me for a lot of HP and SP, but I would have to abuse someone to get it. For those that don't know, it's a Paper Mario joke. Whack ow! Ooh, hey, what is... What is this? I don't like how you're staring at me. Ew, you follow me! I don't like it. Go away. Ooh. Man, this game has some really, really pretty shots. I'll give it that. Aqui Pit. Wow, this game has some pretty shots. Jeez. Okay. Alrighty. Wait, what is that? Are we... Are these our collectibles of sorts? Or is that, like, a fragment of a key that I'm gonna have to collect all of to open a door or something? Hmm. We just got a checkpoint. Ooh, what are these little vapor wings? Looking things. Uh, Luma Bees. They only light up in company, a symbol of companionship and unity. Uh, what, are, what am I doing? What am I collecting? I don't know what this is. I collected it, though. Whatever it is. And I can steal them from you guys by running into you? Weird. Oh, and we can mine it? Okay, what is... This must be our currency. Gather more energy. Okay, so... Yeah, we need energy to... Do whatever that is. Gotcha. Okay, well, can I jump up here and then... Yeah, because there was a thingy over here. Hello, what are you? Just a lot of energy? Oh, no, you're like, uh... Yup, okay, so you're you're like three pieces of a key that I need to proceed. That's what I imagined you were going to be. All right. Cool. Ah! Oh, no, into the into the swamp goo we go. Unfortunately, we, has, we have a uh, Raz's curse from Psychonauts. Our family is cursed to drown forever. <laughs> uh, okay. Come on. You can do it, onion person! We're good. Well, yeah, we've already went over. You're not an onion. I don't really, I don't really know what you are. You're probably a, a wholly unique, uh, kind of species or something. Unique to this game, I mean. Might not be, uh, might not exist in my current real-world-esque worldview. Real world esque, what real world worldview? That's a that's a lot of worlds. Okay, so it looks like we get another one of these if we activate you, but I need more energy before I can do that. Wow, the music is uh, really crescendoing right now. Oh hi. What do you do? Oh, you give me stuff. Well, thank you. That's very nice of you. What about you? Okay, so the animals seem to like me. I'm a regular uh, Snow White. It was Snow White that the animals liked, right? I think so. So do I have enough? Gather more energy. Okay, maybe maybe these things I'm picking up aren't energy. I also don't have like a meter to let me know how much of it I have. So maybe energy is like whatever that thing is over there. Oh, no, 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 maybe, maybe now I have enough? Oh, okay, yeah. And now we're super speed. We have become supersonic. We've collected all the Chaos Emeralds. Oh, okay. Okay, well this is neat. Yeah, this definitely reminds me, like, the puzzle solving reminds me of the Pathless. And, uh, like, Lost Ember and stuff. I like these sorts of games, they're very soothing. 
Yes, hello. Ooh, I want to get out there and see them. Can I get out there and see them? Ooh. Meditating? That pose just makes me think of uh, Geralt meditating in the Witcher series. Okay, so I wonder what that did. Huh. Okay, what are you? With no memory of how my pilgrimage began, I feel all the closer to the light in the new world beyond the gate. Soon I, too, will step through it. No memory of how my pilgrimage began. Feel closer to the light and the new world beyond the gate. Okay. Aqui Pit. 64%. Oh, are you telling me how much completion I have? Is that what you do? Okay. So we go near those, we get a little bit of lore tidbit, and you tell us how much I've completed. Interesting. Can I go over here and add these to my... My bestiary? No, I want to add them. That's a very ominous looking turtle thing hanging out over there as well. Okay, so d didn't we have a way to check um, glyphs? Yeah. Heed the call, set out on your journey, follow the path of light. With no memory of how my pilgrimage began, I feel all the closer to the light in the new world beyond the gate. Soon I too will step through it. So we're going on some kind of pilgrimage and we just have to follow the light. And apparently it's going to lead us to a new world once we get there. Tortles! <laughs> Tortles! Peaceful beings who prefer seclusion. They're just called Tortles. Alright, well that's adorable. Okay, this reminds me of a mechanic in some game. Am I thinking of Donkey Kong Country with the different colored... Yeah, I think in Donkey Kong Country they had like gators or something. Or crocodiles. That functioned uh, much the same way there. Different color ones like disappear faster and stuff. I do like that we actually have a ledge grab. Cause some of those jumps scare me, but then my character ledge grabs. Okay, so we didn't even really need to get that one. I'm just doing it because uh, I'm a completionist. I'm not actually a completionist, but yeah, no. Okay, so... Anything else I may be missing? Sorry, Tordle. Didn't mean to scare ya. Just wanna make sure we're not missing anything else around here. Like, what is this? This area looks suspicious. But maybe I'm just overthinking it. Okay, never mind. This just leads back here. Cool. Leads to where I'm supposed to go anyway. Fantastic. Alright, so yeah, we did something with you, which activated that, like, gate over there. Can we not do anything with this? Let's deal with this. Can we move? Oh, we can move you. This is a block puzzle. Okay. Oh, whoa, that's... Physics was interesting. Oh, we, like, push it. Okay, weird. Well, I want to get whatever this is, and there is a convenient little ramp right here that allows me to get up there, so... What you got, convenient little ramp? Oh, and we probably need this up there? Um... Right? Maybe? No? Okay. Can I do it from here? Oh, wait, I, I, okay, I put it in here. I thought I was going to have to take it over there, but no, we just need to put it over here so it raises this platform. We still need this block, though. So let's go push you. I like that we... I, I like that when you, when you like, hit it, you're, like, applying force to it so it moves, like, further? Because I always hate the slow, monotonous block pushing that's in a lot of older games. You are leaving Aqui Pit, 85%. So, yeah, we haven't done everything here. What did I miss? What have I missed? I do not know. Oh, is it you? Might be you. Oh, I'm standing on you. Sorry. I am floating. I seem to be alone on my way. Still, I leave these messages behind for those who may wish to follow. For myself, for my memories. If only this endless rain would stop. Okay, so you're another pilgrim that's leaving notes for us, basically. Okay, and so you have something to do. Hey. 
Lappy crabs. Okay, and that was that might be the last thing I was supposed to get. Yeah, I realized I didn't even actually go this way. Because I went around the weird back way. Okay. Cool. Well, we found six things so far. This might be a very short game. Which, uh, if that's the case, maybe I'll play Unbound and this. Do a twofer. Okay, cool. We're leaving Aqui Pit. Let's get out of here, then. We're on our pilgrimage. Yeah, this is very cool and pretty so far. Uh, I saw a lot of people that played the demo for this. Um, on YouTube specifically, but I never got around to it. Hmm. There's something so nice and soothing about this. I don't know. I've missed playing one of these types of games. These, like, chill little puzzle adventures. Oh, you're that thing I saw. Alright, are you gonna be our Navi or what? Okay. Weird. I, I I was about to say cacti, but I don't even know if they're cacti. I don't. What's the deal? What's the deal with you? You look interesting. All right. Well, cool. Let's progress a little bit more here. Definitely like what the game's doing with art and music and everything so far. It's a very pretty and just appealing game to all the senses, I guess, is, I guess is the best way to put it. It just looks and sounds nice. I can't say it smells nice, because unfortunately smell of vision never took off, but I'm sure it smells nice too. Ooh. Agnea Plateau. Alright. Well. Hello, what's this up here? Can I get up there? I don't know that I can. I I'm not gonna bother. We probably can't. I wanna I wanna get as much as I possibly can, but also <laughs> I don't think that's something. I shouldn't just waste my time exploring things that aren't even anything. Okay, a little person in the wall. That must be a pilgrim like me. It kind of looks like we're wearing the same stuff, and they have like the staff. A little cube. That reminds me of something, and I can't think- Whoa! What, what? We just got an ability? Oh, I didn't expect that. Oh, I didn't expect to get an ability at all. Okay. We got a new ability. Cool! Alright. Jump and dash. Oh boy, that's really neat. Okay. Yeah, I thought this was just, like, what we had right now was going to be all of the abilities we got. But no. The game says we need more. What are you? You're a new critter. Come here. Let me have whatever that is you're protecting. I want it, so it's mine. Eh. Flumes. Okay. Obsessed with anything that shines and glitters. Okay, so we can use you to see, like, items hidden on the map and stuff. You'll mark it for us. Thank you. I need this stuff, probably. It's probably pretty important. Uh, whoop. Hi? Oh, hi. Hello. Wait, what? Kablooey? Oh. Well, that was rude of me. I just knocked that, that pillar over. What did that pillar ever do to me? Hey, give me your stuff. Aha! I bopped you. Bonk! Go to horny jail. Alright. <laughs> that rock was not being horny, I should specify. It's, it's, a, it's a fine rock. That rock was behaving as it should. Rock critter, I guess I should say. Shoobs! Alright, shoobs. Lively little beings that move as a pack. If left alone, they will await, weaken and eventually die. Oh no. They look like the morsel units in a uh, roguelike that I play a lot of called Monster Train. Um, and that's probably about all I'll explain of that. Because I'd have to go into a lot of detail to explain anything further, so. Well, hello. 
And is there anything? Can I make that from here? I can. Okay, and here's one of our thingies that we need. Cool. Awesome. That's one of the ones we need. So I'm guessing each level is going to be like, or each part of the game is going to be like a little self-contained level like this, which I am down for. I usually like that in games. I think of like um, Super Mario 64, Ape Escape. Just having small little self-contained levels that you go to that are open themselves, but the game itself is an open world. You still have like a hub and stuff, and each one's a little cool handcrafted experience. I always really like that. It's something I'm nostalgic for from childhood, so. And Banjo-Kazooie, I guess, too. I'm leaving all of this behind. All of the creatures and the beauty that surrounds me, leaving to find a better world out there in the light. What is it like, the world beyond that gate? And we'll have the answer very soon. Hmm. So, you, so this pilgrimage is to leave this world, which I guess makes sense, because one of the earlier notes told us that we're going through a portal to another world. This world seems pretty great. What's wrong with this one? I like the world beyond that gate. I will have my answer soon. I guess it's more about the exploration aspect. You're curious about what could potentially be on the other side. Um, but like, I'm sitting here thinking like, oh man, what if it's super awful? But that's the risk you take, I guess. Because this world seems pretty good, but maybe there's also something about this world I just don't know. Like, maybe it's secretly horrible. And I just, I just don't realize. Okay, well we're fast enough. We got our speed buff now. Um, where do I need to go with this? I don't, oh, no, that wasn't it. I don't, I don't think, no, that wasn't it. Hello, rocks. So do I have to collect them all again? Okay, yeah, it says find the pillar. Where it be? Oh, it's right here. Get it. Ow. Hey, hey, shoes. Thank you. Yeah. Because we got to go right here with it. Cool. Alright, so we don't have to collect any more of that stuff now. Cool. And that's my second one. Hey, you. I want to add you to my, my list. Oh, hey, look at you. You're different. Frummers. Okay. Whoop. I keep pressing start. None too agile, but bearing enough stamina to fly over a continent without rest. Wow. Okay, wow, they have uh, a lot of stamina. You can give them that. Alright, well, we've already gotten all three of the things we need for this area. To, like, unlock the way forward, but I feel like I don't have all of, uh... The, like, little journal entry things that they call glyphs. I also imagine, uh, we have to finish an area, and it probably saves once we finish an area, so... In these videos, I'll probably try to at least finish an area before we quit, so sometimes it may make it longer, sometimes it may make it shorter. Uh, we shall see. But, yeah, very, very cool so far. Just a very beautiful little experience. The silence is astounding. Save for the Alterax's call, I can delay no longer. The gate's light is calling to me. Everything's silent. Maybe that's the problem? Maybe there's, like, no one here? Hello. Did I examine this? Those who find the light find freedom. Okay. Yeah, and that's... How many glyphs have we gotten? Oh, okay, and there's a lot of glyphs. Yeah. I always like when a game has, like, a way for me to see how much progress I've made in the game. It's just nice. Alright, so... Where exactly... I'm just trying to make sure... I'm not missing anything else important, like another journal slash bestiary entry. There's another one of the thingies up there that I probably want to go get. What's the deal with this? What is the deal with you? Uh-huh. What do? Oh, you're the meditate spot. Okay, so I imagine this is just to give you a good panoramic view of the entire area to see if there's anything you may be missing. So I'm definitely missing something over there. It's also just a pretty view. Cool. Yeah, I want to make sure I'm not missing any critters or anything. I would like to get everything in the game if possible. Uh-huh. 
It seems like you're kind of directing me towards stuff too. Feels like only yesterday that people wandered these paths and crossed these bridges as I am now. The whispering winds in the canyons remind me of a time before the Great Departure, and of a people in harmony with all of creation. Only yesterday that people wandered these paths and crossed these bridges as I am now. The whispering winds in the canyons remind me of a time before the Great Departure. Okay, so yeah, that must be what's wrong with this world. Everyone left? So it seems like everyone got curious and left this world. And the reason this character that we're getting the notes from maybe wants to leave is because there's just no one left and it's actually very lonely. That's a sad, sobering thought to think about. Uh, eh, okay, well I just bonked my head right on that. Um, can I, can I get up onto you guys? Let me get on this one. This one's the easiest to mount. Probably could have used a better, better verb there, but... Why are you... Oh, I see. Okay, you move up and down the closer I get to you. Weird. Okay. Okay, that's an interesting one. Uh, huh. Okay, so that was not the right way to go. Okay, I've never seen a game mechanic right like that, where a platform gets higher or lower depending on your distance from it. That is a... That is an interesting one. Um... Is it you that I want? I would imagine, but yeah, you like jump up when I get close to you. So I don't think that will work out. I think we gotta go in a very specific order for these. So let me try this one, this one, this one, and then you? Oh yeah, that works. Cool. I did it. All right, kablooey. Ow. Oh, we take fall damage? I didn't realize my- I splatted my poor character on the ground. Oh no. I'm so sorry, character. I didn't mean to. Please accept my humblest apologies. I didn't mean to make you face plant like that. I didn't think you would take fall damage. This game seems too happy and serene to have fall damage. Uh. Yeah, this is a very soothing experience so far. Jeez. I love these types of games so much. Okay, so I think that's most of what I saw at least. Ow. Made you flop again. Faceplant. It's like when you wipe out in a Tony Hawk game. <laughs> that's what it makes me think of. Uh, Alright, so. What do we got up here? Ooh, okay. Is that what you want me to do? Or maybe I dash into it. No, okay. I thought it would like shoot me. No, hmm. Maybe you want me to get on that, or maybe jump into you will get me higher. Uh, no, yeah, because we can't quite reach that way. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's something over here with these blocks pushing them somehow. Can I actually get on top of you? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. So what's going on here? Well, that is not correct, I don't believe. So let's uh, shoot you over there. Shoot you over here. I'm imagining we probably want you like right here? Maybe? Uh, and maybe that's what it wants. Maybe it wants me to use this thing to boost jump over here. Maybe? Uh, no, that doesn't appear to be it. Hmm. Well, I feel like I- oh, hi, big bird. I feel like I want to get up there. I'm just really not sure how. On either of these, I'm going to be quite honest. Oh, wait. Okay. That's a little bit higher. Hmm. Uh, nope. I want you to jump into it, and then if I hold down the A button, it seems like we get a bit more distance, but... I don't know. 
I still just feel like I'm doing this wrong. This is the first puzzle I've been stumped on, though. Huh. No. Uh-huh. No, that's not enough. Yeah, I'm just... Okay, I'm stumped. Let's see, we got... Dash... And that's basically it. Is there something down here I didn't do slash read? No, it doesn't appear that we need to do anything there. So it must just be something in the environment here that I'm missing. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. I, d I didn't even... I didn't even see that. I probably walked right over it. Okay. Well, that makes this a lot easier. Cool. So, does this work? No. Alright, so, but now that you're over here, we can knock this, that away, and still make it onto that platform. Okay, I just did not even notice that switch. I did not pick up on that at all. Can I? No? Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I maybe see what's expected of me here. Maybe one of these, then one of these. Then up here, and jump over there. There we go. Look at me. All right, cool. And that does what exactly? Okay, it makes the platform move so we can access the other one. Cool. And this might be the final thing to do in this area. Maybe, just maybe. Whoop. I should probably press the dash button next time so that uh, I actually dash over there. Okay, so, hop, and we're good, and dash, cool, hello, uh-huh, okay, dashy, and dashy, we got it, cool, I really hope I didn't miss anything, okay, we're now leaving, it looks like I've gotten everything, Agnea Plateau, yeah, Look at that, 100% completion. Alright. Hello. Cool. New journal entry, Altaraxes. Oh yeah, this was mentioned, one of the th mentioned in one of the things. These ancient guardians linger in the Great Canyon's shadow, calling out to one another through the mist. So let's look at the glyphs, because, yeah, one of the glyphs mentioned you. Uh, Alterax, Alterax. The silence is astounding, save for the Alterax's call. I can delay no longer, the gate's light is calling to me. Okay, so they call through the mist for pilgrims. Hmm. Alright, well, this is the first episode of Omno. I think we're going to go ahead and end it off here. Very, very cool, soothing little adventure so far. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.